gorgeous day, and no Decepticons to ruin it. Yep, not a peep out of the creeps in months. <laughs> They're searching for all the loose parts we knocked out of them when we got Optimus Prime back. You know, they must be spread out all over the galaxy. Yeah, but will they stay there? You should do whatever you can to prevent anyone else from losing someone they love. Makes you so sure of that, Scattershot. They definitely won't, because I make out about a hundred blips heading right toward us. Optimus Prime! I'm... I'm okay, Ultra Magnus. Ever since I released the energy of the Matrix, I've had these overwhelming feelings that something's going to happen. Something big. A Decepticon attack? Bigger than that. Something unbelievable. Optimus Prime! We got every Decepticon in the known universe heading right down! as 
I sensed it would. Ultra Magnus, round up every Autobot we can spare. Get them to the shuttles. Where are we going, Prime? Cybertron. <laughs> Fine, Daniel. Fine? You did great! Hey, Blur! Long time no see! Look, that stuff, I was robbed! I was robbed! Do you hear me? This whole thing is fixed! He had an unfair advantage! You see? Hot Rod won because he had help from Daniel! So? What's that prove? It proves, Hardhead, that my basic theory is sound! What's all the hubbub? Oh, Brainstorm's trying to prove that we could function better with human operators inside us. Human partners, Highbrow! The problem is where they would inhabit us when we're in robot form! Correction! The problem is you and your stupid ideas! I think it's a neat idea! Oh, we Autobots are always fighting. Must we drag you humans into it, too? I think we already are in it, Cerebros. I understand. As does Orko. Oh, right! <laughs> but it might give us the edge if the Decepticons did return. That's not gonna happen. Cop, highbrow. The Decepticons are heading your way. How many of them, Prime? All of them. Of course, I have been wrong on one or two occasions. Cup, Galvatron stole the key to the plasma energy chamber. Now what? It's a storage chamber, 12 levels below generator C. May I ask why everyone's going to such trouble over this thing? The plasma energy chamber is the foundry in which the original Autobots' bodies were forged millions of years ago. Since then, every Autobot leader has been charged with guarding the key with his life. Whatever happens, don't let them open it. Oh, America! The rules don't change just because you break it. And that's coming out of your check. Let me do the math for you, Wilson. I make almost nothing. And that piece of junk's worth less than nothing. So technically, you owe me. Now let me get back to work on my bike. Got five minutes left on my lunch break. <laughs> that bike? I will attempt to decipher. Cyberman. The 
Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages. We now return to Transformers Generation 1. Whatever overloaded the engines must have shorted out all the wiring. Well, let's fix it. Every second we wait takes us a million miles farther from Cybertron. What? We forgot the plot regenerate. Look, we have the talent, we have the skills, and we have the strategy. But the reason I know we will prevail is that we've got the ultimate weapon. You, uh, excuse me for a second, I actually have to take my uh, talents to the chamber pot. Thanks. He's got this. Ah, the key is gone, you miserable pile of junk! I ought to have you stamped down into tinfoil for losing it! Wait! My King Calvertron! Remember, tinfoil can't talk. Scourge may be able to tell us what happened to it. Hmm, power surge damage. An infusion of fresh energy may help. The Autobots took the key. So you let the Autobots beat you? I let nobody beat me. It was the energy from that blasted chamber. It overloaded me, then hit their ship. That plasma energy is lethal. It nearly killed me. You will follow them, you will get the key, and you will destroy them! That suits me fine. The rest of you go with him. Make sure he doesn't fail again. The engines have finally burned out. Maybe now we can get the retros working and actually steer this thing. Well, you'd better, because we're about to slam smack into a planet. Prepare for crash landing! Oh, by thinking good thoughts, that one To Cybertron. Come on. Maybe there's a used ship dealer around here somewhere. At least a payphone. Machines. We've got to warn the others. They don't look like anything the Hive ever sent after us before. What does that matter? They're machines. If the Hives found our secret base, we're finished. Let's go. That ship left a particle trail a mile wide. All we have to do is keep following it, then we'll meet up with them soon enough. Here we are sightseeing while the Autobots are getting their tailpipes kicked in by Galvatron's goons. Well, at least we've got the thing they were after in the first place, sure shot. You know, this reminds me of the time my platoon was stranded on Regulan 4. There we were, only 700 of us against three whole Regulan metal monkeys. 700 of you? Against three of them? Ah, oh, come on, cop. You ever seen a Regulan metal monk? Lad? Uh, no. Trust me, we were outnumbered. Look! Up ahead! Boy, we're glad to see you! That thing again? Are you crazy? What are you doing? They've got hi 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 humans with them, Firebolt! Quick, f***ing haywire! What are you doing? Collaborating with these stinking hive machines! I don't know what you're talking about! These are Autobots! What a what? It's a stinking hive trap, that's what it is. We'll take him back to the caves. I'll figure out how to finish him off there. I want you to search the planet until you find the key. Roger, Dodger, Optimus 
Prime. Roger, Dr. Optimus Prime! Roll out! These magnetic bombs should do the trick! This is ridiculous. Doesn't he know who we are? Maybe we should get a new PR man. Well, I fear your logic is faulty. You assume a priori that we are malevolent without first... Ah, oh, shut up! Tell me, what is this planet anyway? Nebulon. Enjoy it while you can. This is nuts! They're not evil! All machines are evil. Now come on, unless you want to get blown up. Listen to me, those Autobots aren't even from this planet. Death to the Hive. Transformers Generation 1 will return after these messages. We now return to Transformers Generation 1. Whoa! Can you smell what the new bark is cooking? More of your friends? No. Those are our enemies. Come. I may have been a bit hasty in my judgment. Stupid is more like it. Come on, we're all gonna get stomped into guacamole if you don't release the Autobots now. Sorry, so come on, what is this fight? What's going on? What's happening out there? Come on, tell me, tell me, tell me! The Decepticons just joined the party. You got the wrong bunch. He's right. Let us go. We're not your enemies. Trick or treat. Our strategy bombs. If we free them, We'd have 20 machines after us instead of just 10. Do it. Right, I'm setting them free. Alien fisted hurricane! Son, can you do anything for him? We've some medical equipment in one of the other caves. We will do what we can. Please do. He saved my life. And he's my dearest friend in all the world. It would not be un... ...reasonable to surmise that they went up into those hills. Well, it would have been massively helpful. We were too busy trying to decode his urgent message, which we're running out of time to do. You wanted to blow us up! You took Francais. Listen. I'm beginning to understand why you guys don't like machines. You'll never get past them. All right, let's regroup back at the caves. The boy will live. Wait, this doesn't make sense. The map said the pit would be here. But there's been severe internal damage. He will have to rely on these life support machines unless we can get something more portable. Hi, Dad. Hello, son. Percy, you're okay. Thanks to you. Who built those machines, Gort? The Hive. The machines maintain the environment of Nebulos. Except for out here. You never come out here. But the machines are also enforcers. Why run? Look out! Enforcers for the hive. For here on Nebulos, it is the people who serve the machines. And the machines serve the hive. Ten rulers and their supreme leader, Zarek, living far under the ground. 
They've developed their mental powers to the point where they can control machines with their very thoughts. But their bodies have weakened and are totally useless. The machines are the hive's eyes and ears and all fists. We Nebulons discovered what the hive was and we've been fighting them ever since. Duros, Styler, Arcana and I are strategy. Pinpointer, Firebolt, Recoil, Haywire, Peacemaker, and Spoil Sport are our soldiers. Everyone a crack shot. Yeah, we've been dodging those machines all our lives. And we know every weak spot on them. But if we had your strength, your size, your, your power. In other words, our bodies. You know, Brainstorm, that idea of yours is beginning to make more sense by the minute. You mean putting humans, uh, nebulans, inside the Autobots' bodies? It's the only way we'll ever defeat the Hive's machines. And it's the only way we can rescue the others and keep the Decepticons from getting this. And it's the only thing that'll save my son from being tied to a life support system. Let's do it. Sure I can make these modifications, Brainstorm. I'm ready. What about you, RC? You couldn't stop me. What about you, Cerebros? No. What? I must stand by what I believe in. But we're helping these people in their fight. My one wish is to never fight again. Okay. I guess that means he's out. How about you two? I suppose it's the only meritorious way out of a meretricious situation. Yeah, me too, like he said. But what happens to our memories, our personalities, whenever we detach our heads from our bodies? You simply download into the auxiliary memory circuits in your chest. Everybody ready? Spike, one request. Take me to Daniel. I couldn't think of a better partner for him. Exciting episode of The Transformers Rebirth.